Hi, thanks so much for joining us. My name's Shannon from Strategic Intervention Solutions. Our website is sis4teachers.org. In our previous videos on our website that you may have watched, one of them was showing you how to set up speed. The other one was us actually going through and showing you how to play a speed two game. We have our speed game aligned with the patterns of multiplication. My friend and I have become quite good at our fives and our tens, our two fours and eights, and we're moving on to the section to look at patterns within three that matches three, six, and nine. We have our speed board already set up, ready to go, where we have our cards laid out. We're each going to put one card going down in the center part of the deck so that we can put these down to flip over. We're gonna to try to speed up or down by three. One thing we wanna remember in the game of speed is if 30 is selected, this card here makes it wrap around to the number three. So if a 30 is up, you can either start over and go to three or go back to 27. Same thing as if a three is placed, you can put a 30 on it and go back by three, or you can go up by six. We're gonna go ahead and start our game of speed and see who can kind of get rid of their cards the first, the fastest. Okay, so we have the number six, so our partner can go either with three or nine and kind of refill. I'm gonna go ahead and put my six so my partner's flipping one over. I'm gonna flip another one over to see if I can do anything. If people get stuck, they can always look at the cards to kind of see, okay, if I have 21, I can go up to 24 or back to 18. So in this case, I can go ahead and go back to 18. I know that if I go back again, I can go to 15. My partner can look to see if they can go up or down. I go ahead and put my nine, go back to the six. My partner looks stuck. Let's see what I can come up with. I know if I go up three here, it's 15, so I can put this here. And then I can go up another three to 18. My partner might be able to go up from 18 to that 21. Three, six, I can go to my nine, back to my six. Going to continue to see if I can't go down. Anyone has a three, that's not the case. Nobody has a nine. If we look at 21, does anyone have an 18 or a 24? I happen to have that 24, so I can continue to play. Remember with that 30, we can always use that three as well. That's kind of a hard one to remember. Okay, let's take a look to see if we have a move. We can go up to 12 or back to six. That's not on my side or your side. This one I can go back to 30 or I can go up to six. I forgot about that 30 and you got it before I did. I'm gonna go ahead and put my 30 then, oh, you got me on that one. Okay. Gonna look at, see if we have a six or the 30 for this one, or a 12 or a six. I think that we are both stuck. So we're gonna take our card and we're gonna do a one, two, three, flip. You can go up from 12. Oh, you went back down to nine. I was thinking you were gonna grab your 15. So we either can do a 12, which we don't have, or a six, which we don't have. We can go to 30, which we don't have, or a six. We're gonna do a one, two, three flip. We are neck and neck in this game to see who is going to be the grand champion of our speed three. I have one card left. This card here is at 27, so it either can go up to 30 or back down to 24. This one here is at 24, so it can go down to 21 or up. 
In this case, we are both down to the wire, don't have a lot of cards, so we're going to turn this pile over to make it a reset. One, two, three, flip. We have a six, so this one only allows us to do a nine or a three, but this 21, we can either do an 18 or a 24. Oh, he ends up coming in for the speed and ends up winning the three speed at the very end. We're working on this level, so it doesn't have to be lightning fast as students are learning how to skip count forward and backwards by the three. You can kind of talk through the strategies, and the idea is you end up building a faster automaticity as you start to get better at this game. We love playing a family tournament game of speed, or even in your classroom, having kids sign up where you kind of have an elite eight tournament style sort of set up. We would have circled that we were playing speed three tournament, and we could have a battle after kids get much better at this game and get a little bit faster. So it's also really great to do at a family night where every family walks away with their own game of speed, and they can use the tournament style to play other families. We cannot wait for you to post some of your great videos and different tournaments that you may be doing in your classroom or your school. Feel free to visit us on our Facebook under Strategic Intervention Solution. And as always, come to our website at sis4teachers.org.